Hey everybody, what's up? Uh, in this tutorial, we are going to talk about shapes and we are going to learn how to convert the shapes which are called splines to a 3D object. So, to do a shape, you go to our create panel and shapes. And here we got a drop list which says splines and we have NURPS and extended splines. We are only going to work with splines and extended splines. So just select splines for now. And here we have a lot of types of of splines like line, circle, text, star, donut. So to do a spline you just click in the one you want, like a circle, and drag in the viewport. And here we got the spline. This spline is like a 2D representation of a shape. So if I try try to render this right now, I wouldn't get anything. So to go to your spline properties, you just go to your modify panel, and here we got our properties. Like very basic stuff, like rendering. I could enable in the render in in the viewport. I could increase the thickness of it, the number of sides. Uh, could change it to rectangular. That kind of stuff. The auto move could increase the number of sides very basic stuff right here the radius uh, if I created another spline like this I would see that is basically the same thing like rendering interpolation parameters so I'm just going to delete this the good thing, oh right here we have the line, which is normally how what we use to create a spline. I can just create anything I want. I can cl click, hold, and make a curve like that. And if I want to finish it, I just click in the first vertex like that. So that's a custom spline. And how would I do? What would I do to make this a 3D? Not using this enabling the viewport button right here. I would have to go to the modify panel, modifier list, and we have like this modifier right here called extrude. I have a couple of others that do the same thing, but I'm going with extrude right now. And you see that this line got filled with a mesh, but it's still planar. So I just increase the amount of the strut right here, and here we got our 3D mesh. Very simple. Here I got cap start, cap end. And normally, we don't change this the segments. You can see in the front and in the left viewport the segments going up and down. Uh, the output, like a mesh or a path or nerves, uh, mapping cards, not not very interesting stuff. Uh, so if I wanted to create a text, it would be the same thing. Like, I'm just going to create this plan right here. In here, got my spline of a text. Of a text. In the modify panel, I could change the text like CG. Could change the font, the size, the kerning, leading, and again, just go to modifier list right here and extrude and here I got my 3D text so that's basically how splines work I will talk about editable splines in another tutorial so I guess that's it see you guys in the next video